So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys, I bring you 8 exploits, glitches and farms you need to see. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, join my Discord if you haven't already, link below, if you're looking for people to play with, dupe with, talk about the game, secrets, easter eggs, whatever you'll find people there one of the best dying light communities out there again my discord is linked below okay so within dying light 2 there are a ton of amazing exploits glitches and farms you need to be taking advantage of and today we cover the best nine okay so first up guys we have the duplication glitches or exploits and there's two here we have a solo one and a co-op one. The co-op one is easily the better one, so we will cover that first. And this, guys, is as simple as going into your game, inviting your pal into your game, or you joining your pal's game. And it is as simple as putting the item on the floor you want to dupe, and then just both picking it up at the same time. So if you have an amazing weapon that you want to share with your friends and you can do this with more than one person guys so you want four of you doing this at the same time you can so put a weapon on the floor everyone stands around it one person does the countdown and on one or on zero everyone picks up the weapon if timed correctly everybody will get that one weapon therefore you have four from one this works with crystals this works with anything this works with things you can stack it works with everything people and it is utterly broken it means that you can duplicate things to sell and make tons of money in minutes it means you can duplicate the best gear if there's a newcomer to the game who wants to wear your better gear it means you can do everything guys okay so the solo duplication glitch or exploit is a little different and is limited to things you can do this with this also requires you to be near a stash and what you need to do with this one is is have a certain item the item you want to dupe in two stacks one stack needs to be a 98 and the other stack needs to be anything over a 10 so let's go with artifact grenades for instance if you want to dupe these, you need a stack of 98 and a stack of anything over 10. Now, if you've got a stack of 99 and a stack of 20, or a stack of 99 and a stack of 99, out of one of the stacks, make sure you get 98. So therefore, just drop one from that stack of 99. Therefore, you have a stack of 98 and another stack over 10. Doesn't matter if it's 99, 98, 97, 96, as long as you have one stack of 98 and one stack of anything over 10. Then, guys, what you do is you put that stack of 98 inside of your stash. What this will do nine times out of 10 is create a stash in your inventory stacked at one. Then, guys, when you transfer that other stack, the stack over the 10, into your stash, you'll notice that newly appeared stack of one turns to a much higher number nine times out of ten being a stack of 98 or 99 and you can simply just repeat this process guys and the more you have to do this and the more you spam into your stash you'll notice the more that duplicate it's a weird one i still ain't 100 on how it actually works all i know is it does work and it works incredibly and again this works with anything that stacks up to a 99 so medicines immunity boosters military med kits shrooms you name it guys as long as it stacks up to a 99 this solo dupe should work with it okay so next up people we have an infinite parkour xp exploit now this one is probably one of the easiest to do in the game in terms of efficiency and how fast it works obviously in regards to our xp so what you need to do is first make sure you have far jump unlocked within your parkour skill tree then you need to come to this position on the map right here right next to this safe house where there's that big old bright purple uv light now guys if you do have one of the night runner potion xp uh, boosters which comes with the ultimate digital pack if you apply this you'll get a hundred percent additional xp these also guys can be dupes i made a video on this earlier on in the week so if you know anybody who's got one of these they can be duped and you can use them indefinitely but they do only stack in stacks of one 
so keep that in mind if you do plan on duping them. So if you have one of these Nightrunner XP potions uh, in your inventory, come to this spot and abuse of this. So the way it works is simple. Make sure it's night time, then pop your Nightrunner XP potion if you have one. Then you just want to jump down to your left here and trigger a chase from this screamer. As soon as that chase starts guys, jump back up onto this roof. And it is as simple guys as using the far jump parkour skill and jumping backwards and forwards from this roof, from this little wall to this kind of banister and back. And keep doing this guys till I'd say around the free chase mark. It does start to uh, heat up a little bit here. So just keep that in mind. I mean, if you're good enough, you can easily get to a chase four. But me personally, I won't take that risk. Now, once it does get a little too hot for you, just run to that purple UV light and then let the chase end. Then guys, just simply rinse and repeat the process until night time is over and you will accumulate an absolute ton of parkour XP. A pal of mine who's super efficient at doing this uses that night runner XP booster and gets way over 130k. I did it about two thirds of the night and I still got almost 40k and I wasn't even doing it that efficient. I was falling down a couple of times and all sorts. But yes guys, just remember, if you die, you lose what you've gained. So like I said, if it gets too hot for you, run to that UV light and end the chase. Okay, so next up guys is an incredible farm which you can abuse. Now this farm takes place at the very bottom of the map, just past the newfound Lost Lands. Here, depending on how you've completed the story, will either have water, it'll be covered by water, or have no water here whatsoever. If there's no water here guys, you will have to fight your way through to these chests or containers. If there's water here guys, there's no enemies, but you just gotta do some swimming. Now as you can see from on my screen right now, there is 12 sunken airdrops here. But there's also guys, five inhibitor containers within this small area. And you'll see the actual map on screen now. I've pinpointed every single chest and their location or every container and their location. And the great thing about this is guys, these chests reset their loot after about 20 minutes. And also the loot that these drop is some of the highest you will get in the game. So by the time you've done one rotation, the chest will have respawned for you to go back to the start and rinse and repeat the farm guys. Doing this, you will see yourself earn incredible loot building up to that level nine mark. Okay, so next up guys, we have an incredible OP weapon. One of the best in the game. It's called the Kadoom Shotgun. It binds to your left trigger, just like where your grapple hook goes. And it's something you don't want to miss out on. This is obviously a weapon that comes from the Doom Easter Egg. This requires you to find five black ducks and go into the basement of the VNC tower. Go down into this weird secret ritual area, place the ducks on the tables, line up the wires, create a symbolic star and the doom challenge will start. Now once you are in this challenge guys, there are a couple of uh, blueprints for you to collect as well as a devil letter to the doom developers thanking them for the inspiration. But the Doom shotgun you use within this actual challenge, the Kadoom, is a weapon you can take out into the world and use for the rest of your game time. And to do this guys, it's as simple as this. Just quit out the game and load back in. Once you load back in, you'll be back in the open world, but you will have the Kadoom shotgun within your inventory. Now there's a few things you need to keep in mind here. If you quit out while you're down here, when you try and go back to the Doom Easter Egg challenge, the elevator will be stuck on level zero down below and you won't be able to call it back up. To resolve this issue, you need to invite a friend into your game while you're standing in front of this lift. So if that doesn't sound worth it for you guys, just do not use this exploit until Techland probably sort out this lift their own way. Also keep in mind guys, if you do do this exploit and get the Kadoom shotgun, do not put it in your stash. If you put it in your stash, somehow the ammo disappears so it becomes worthless. You can drop it and dupe it with your pals, so that's all good. But what you do dupe, you'll have to keep in your inventory. Don't stash it, because like I said, you'll lose the ammo. Also, I have heard reports of doing the Doom Challenge in a co-op. Can bug it out when you try and do this exploit. So I would recommend you doing it solo. 
Okay, so next up guys, we have the hoverboard exploit. Now you guys know the Back to the Future Marty McFly hoverboard Easter egg challenge. Well guys, there's a way in which you can keep this hoverboard and it works more or less the same way the Doom Easter egg challenge works. All you do is you start the hoverboard challenge and then quit out your game and load back in. Once you load back in, you will have the hoverboard inside of your inventory to equip when you want. Keep in mind if you do have it equipped and bound to that left trigger then it does come out by itself so it's best putting it away until you actually want to use it. Now if you need a guide on this hoverboard and every other glitch and exploit I'm covering in today's video I will link full guides to each within that video description. Next up guys we have the flying broomstick exploit. So yes guys you want to use a broomstick and fly around the entire map you can do this. There is, as you may know, a Baba Yaga challenge where you use a broomstick to fly around uh, through hoops and stuff. Now this broom you can actually keep with you and use when you want in the rest of your playthrough outside of this challenge. And this as well guys works exactly like the Doom and the Hoverboard exploit. All you do is you start up this challenge and then just quit out and load back into your game. Upon doing this, sometimes you will be in a loop of falling out of the sky to your death. All you got to do is just cancel the mission and then you should respawn safe and dandy. And then when you check your inventory and those accessories, you should have the broomstick there for you to equip. And a lot like the hoverboard guys, if you do have it bound to your left trigger, it will auto equip as soon as your stamina is full. So pull it away people until you want to use it. And lastly guys for today's video is the bicycle challenge exploit. So you guys want to ride a bicycle around the cities, you can. Now this one revolves around you finding seven red ducks. Once you found the seven red ducks guys, you take them to near the VNC tower uh, metro. And as you can see on screen now, there is a challenge here which sees you riding a bicycle. Now to take this bicycle outside of this challenge, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is, is ride up this sharp, steep pillar. And just jump off when you're at a decent height, which you know in which it will kill you. And once it does kill you, quit out of the challenge guys. Then just run to that spot you died and you'll see that the bike is there for you to then jump on and ride around. Now a few things to keep in mind, you can't keep this bike indefinitely. If you fall off it and leave it on the floor for over about 15 seconds, it despawns. So if you hit a zombie and fall off it or you jump off it, it will despawn. So it isn't as good as the broomstick or the hoverboard in getting about, but it's still a pretty fun exploit. And there we have it guys. A exploits, glitches and farms you need to know about. Now we'll have full guides to link to every one of these within the video description. So if there's one here you want to have more information on, do check them out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Dying Light, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.